Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Carol Lachey here. If you are new, I hope you started joining the family by subscribing down below. Be sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And if you've been with me for a while, you already know I really appreciate your support and I really love you guys. And so this video is about this beat. If you've already read the title, we are trying out Aunt Jackie's technique when it comes to smudge free makeup under the mask. Y'all know we're in a pandemic, we're still wearing a mask. But the thing is, we still gotta be walking around cute and that's just <laughs> what it is. So if you're interested in getting into this look, seeing how really it turns out, if it really works, that's my thing. Does it really work? Cause you know, we know everything she does is fabulous, but when I do it, is it gonna work? Will it work for you? Let's find out by getting right. to get into this makeup look um i'm probably late hopping on the bag wagon because i personally i didn't wear makeup a lot during this pandemic because i don't want to smudge on my mask but i was like and jackie gave some good tips so we are about to try it out like always i'm about to start with my primer um don't judge me i'm really just trying to use the rest of this up so i end up cutting the top out <laughs> so oh that's a lot of primer see and this is why i opened it because i did not realize that much was left in there start with a bit of primer now primer helps with a lot of different things it helps with some powder this is my universal tip honestly for long wearability and makeup in general all year round so a translucent powder I'll be going in with is my um, the black radiance setting powder y'all already know big black radiance girl never let me down um she always talks about using one that kind of matches your skin instead of like using a white one so that's what we're going to do. The key to take away from this video is long wearability, no dewy products. Or at least minimize how many dewy, creamy products that you use because those are the things that lift around and move around the most. She said this works best with full coverage. So I'll be using my Milani um, Conceal Plus Perfect Foundation. Um, it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to do a little different from her because she did the contour and conceal before. But I don't have a like a liquid conceal. I mean, a liquid contour. So I'm just gonna do my concealer. I'm going in with my Juvia's Place. Do conceal and contour. I'm gonna be using the Oma Beauty Double Stick, and I'm also gonna be using Pat McGrath's concealers. These do not move around. They're not super dewy. They're not super wet and moisturized. She did some corrections under her eye, but I don't personally have dark under eyes, so I did not go in with any type of correction. So she said something about underpainting. So we are going to go in and blend this out. So I'm about to do the same. I don't know if I have that light of a color. I have this NYX HD. I haven't used it in a while, but it's pretty light. I don't even know if there's any left in here. Just a little bit. Yeah, but it's really not all that light for me. But it will have to do. Okay, you can see a little difference on the lightness underneath. Y'all yeah, feel like I look crazy. <laughs> so now on to the foundation. So instead of her, instead of using the Ben Eye um, Final Seal, because I do not have it, <laughs> I'm gonna use um, a pretty good setting spray that I feel like is really good. Um, Urban Decay All Nighter. It's never let me down. I used to wear it when um, I ran track, so. I know for a fact that it's good. All right, so she said she wants to put her foundation on the back of her hand. She's going to dip the brush in. 
Before I go in with my foundation, I'm gonna spray my brush. And then she's gonna spray her brush. And we're gonna see. This oxidizes, so yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. This, I don't know about the backwards, bro. Uh, mm. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know if it's because like her concealer is very much her skin tone kind of sort of or it more so matches the foundation because this looks scary like I'm scared <laughs> like we need to blend out these edges yeah I'm like somebody please send help Okay, it doesn't look that bad anymore. <laughs> Cause, oh, girl. And I don't know if it's also because she contoured too. So, that also should make a difference. <clears throat> yeah, I was a little scared. It doesn't look too bad now, though. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in and contour my nose. Okay, I feel like I have everything back together. So now she said she's going to spray her face. And then she's just going to blend everything in. When you're setting, you always want to pay special care, obviously to the areas where the mask is going to be coming in contact with and rubbing on, right? So I may do another courtesy spray around my chin area and around my jawline. All right, so she wants us to focus on where the mask will be, which is going to be here. So we're going to do extra spray here, extra spray there. And it's just going to get some more TLC. Alright, so now we're about to go in with the setting powder. Now, girl, if you even think skipping so transition powder I'm gonna be using is an two option, separate, um, absolutely not. You need to. What was I about to say? I'm gonna be using two separate um, translucent powders. So for my under eye, I'll be using the um, the C8, the Sight London. It's the Everyday K Vacay um, Coconut Powder. I actually used in my last video. So I'll be putting that under my eye. And I just realized she hasn't done her eyes yet. <laughs> and look, she hasn't done her eyes yet and neither have I. Y'all realize I did have to do my brows off camera. That was a fact. I cannot do my brows like after I've already done my face. I don't I don't know what it is, but I I just can't. <laughs> For the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with my um my original setting powder that I used. Um the black gradient so yeah and we're setting the entire face right and it's so crazy she was talking about mask knee which is like I personally haven't I have not experienced breakouts around like where the mask would be but if you are experiencing it make sure you clean your mask if you're wearing disposable ones, you know, don't wear them too many times, of course. All right, so now we are about to dip in the eyes. Let's see. Of course, I'm not doing the same exact look she's doing, so I'm just gonna do my, real, my eyes real quick, and we're just gonna get it going real quick.
Alright guys, so obviously I'm back from doing my eyes. Um, Jackie, Anna, she did not do lashes, but I decided to do some little lashes. And I'm saying, looking at my face, I'm just like, this does not look put together. And it's because your girl had not contoured yet. I completely forgot that she did it um, beforehand. So I'm about to go in and contour my face. because she really enforced translucent powder basically over everything and that's what we're doing so we went we're gonna go in um let's see all right so the next thing she went in with is a blush y'all already know black radiance everything basically <laughs> Like now how I be going in with the blush she personally didn't do highlight um, y'all know me I'm gonna do some highlight I'm um, not gonna do much but a little here a little there something up here something up here I'm not gonna do it now, I will say what killed me was that she canceled the gloss. Like, <laughs> Jackie, I know why. But I understand why because it's, I mean, it's going to be all of you nice for her. So, so literally, I'm going to go in with my lip gloss <laughs> just because I know I'm not about to wear a mask all day. So, I'm just going here. I know Jackie, I didn't say to do that, but very little, like, very minimal. So this is really the finished look. Um, we're gonna go back, spray, but we're going to focus on the bottom, like she said. And so it's gonna be. And then we're going to pat it in. Hopefully this setting spray I've been using is as good as the one she has been using. So we will get the same outcome. But I will say, doing the um, concealer backwards, like my skin, it really doesn't look flawless. So I'm about to go get presentable and we're about to test out this with our face mask. <laughs> All right, back with it, natural hair, hello, excuse it. Um, it's really time for wash day. So got a mask, y'all can see it's clean, it needs to focus on the mask. And honestly, this is about to get ready to be thrown in the trash. I've used it a couple times. So let me take this out, and here goes nothing. Now I'm pretty sure my lips, it might end up showing up on there. Let me just dab that off a little bit. So, okay, so she really just sat on her face, and I don't know why my camera's gonna get dark um, when I put it on. Let me just do this, press it around, talk a little bit, yeah, 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 and that's on period. And take it off. And bro, like, it's very, very bare minimum. Like, very, very bare minimum. Like, it could, it could be worse. And of course on hers, it was a lot less, but she was using high-end products. You go to some drugstore. But I am shook. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the beat was cute and we have Miss Aunt Jackie to thank for this new technique. Like, I might just start wearing my makeup now. <laughs> All right guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Be sure to follow me on my social media. So I'll also be right here on the screen. Be sure to click the notification bell so you not miss any of my uploads. I have an announcement coming out soon that you don't want to miss. So be sure to click that notification bell. I love you all. I appreciate your support. And I will see you in my next video.